Okay, in this session, we're going to be learning how to set up our first uh, operation for this exercise, which is going to be the face milling operation just for the top surface. So to get that started, come over here under operations, right click on it, add milling operation, and then face operation. Okay, you want to come over here under new, click on that, and then your face milling geometry uh, box will appear on the left side for the options. Under type, you want to make sure model is there. Under base geometry, it's going to be a box. And under base geometry over here, uh, you want to click on define and just click on the top surface over here. That will select your entire model and then click on OK. That will select your geometry and then it's going to show up a yellow box that's going to be around your um, box that you're going to be machining. Okay, so if you actually move that around, you're going to notice that the yellow selection is actually at the top surface of the box that you first initially set up, which is going to be greater than the finished part. So this is going to be your stock part, and that yellow selection is going to be onto your stock part, okay, the part that's going to, that you're going to be putting into the machine to be machined. Now what you want to do is come down over here under Modify Offset, is what I want to do is I want to expand the box a little bit. What that will allow me to do is that will allow my tools to offset a little bit more to the outside to ensure that my machining is being done. Okay, and not just on the edges. So I'm going to come over here under offset and I'm going to go 0.25 and then apply. And you're going to see that offset is applied, uh, is now the box that is going to, that was around the box, you're going to notice that it is actually bigger than now the box that you initially set up to be machined. So again, this will allow you to machine over the stock edges. Okay, so come over here and click on OK once you're done and then come over here under tool. And then let's go to select new tool. Okay, now I already have one selected. It's going to be the face milling tool. But if you don't have one selected, just come over here under add milling tool and then select the face mill. Now, if you notice, it's going to add another tool for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click over here and delete the tool. And it will, you know, just click on yes to assure the deletion and it will go away. I'm going to keep it the same tool that we have over here. Now, one thing to pay attention. Okay, four. Under shoulder diameter, which is SD, if you actually click in the box, it will show you what diameter that is, which is going to be um, the part that's going to be held by my holder. The reason why I want you to pay attention to that in this uh, exercise is because I want you to next go to holder. And under holder, go to global. Unless you have something saved locally, go to global and you're going to see all these holders for different uh, tools. There's going to be a lot of end mill holders, but I want you to go to the under ER32, open that folder, and then click on 2 inch long. Okay, that's just the length of the holder. It's going to say ER32 collet 2 inches long. So that collet is 32. 32 means it's in millimeters. Uh, 32 millimeters is about a 1.25 inch in diameter. In ID, that's going to be the how uh, big the ID is that you're holding. Okay, so if you go back under technology, I'm going to select that, but I'm going to guess, go select it over here, and it's going to show now under your local 2 inches long holder. If I go back to uh, topology, you're going to notice the shoulder diameter is 1.25. So that will assure me that the holder is going to hold my tool. Now, remember, every operation, every machine, uh, all the tools you're using are going to be different than mine. So make sure that you select the correct hold, holder and the correct tool for your machining purposes. Okay, so for this exercise, this is all that we want. Under description, you're welcome to give this tool a description. You can call it 1.75 milling tool, and you also are allowed to give it an ID number in case you want to track your tools a little bit better. Okay, now click on select, and then come over here under level. Now, I want to select the face depth now. Okay, so click on face depth and then click on the surface right here. And it's going to give you a depth of negative 0.1. Remember, we added 0.1 to the top of the stock, so that sounds correct. We're machining from that top of that stock to the surface, which is going to be negative 0.1. So click on OK. And then for the step down, make sure it is 0.1. Now that you have that finished, go over here to technology. And let's select the hatch option. So if you want, you know, we want to select the hatch option, which is going to be going back and forth until it's finished with the top of the surface. 
we want to make sure that the minimum overlap is 30% of the diameter of the tool. Okay, what that allows us to do, so every step that it goes through in the hatch machining, it's going to use 30% 30, 30 of that tool is going to be remachining over the last path. Okay, 30% of the diameter of the tool. Let's make sure that equal step over is selected. And then come over here under offset and let's type in 0.1 and click on finish. So the last step, or I'm sorry, I'm going to type in 0 0.05 and then click on finish. So the last finished path is going to be the uh, 0 0.05. Remember my entire stock that I left on top is 0 0.1. So it's going to go 0 0.05 rough pass, and then the last path is going to be 0 0.05 finished path. We always want to do a finished pass when we're doing the facing operation. This will ensure us of a good surface finish when we're done. Come over here under the hatch option, and you're going to notice an automatic uh, optimal angle over here. I want you to select that. What that will do is it'll allow Solid Cam to select the best optical angle to use for us to machine the part as quickly uh, as possible, okay? So now that you have that done, click on technology, and let's go to link. Okay, under link for the lead in, go ahead and select tangent. And then for the length, make sure it is 0.1. Okay, now that you have that selected, come over here under lead out and select that. That will copy all the lead in options to the lead out option. Okay, now that you have that done, come over here and click on save and calculate. And then to simulate. Make sure solid verify options selected. Let's slow this down, even though it's going to be still very quickly, very quick. And then click on the play button. Now you're going to notice that it's going to show the tool holder. So if I actually want to go step by step. One pass, two pass, three, four, and then five. And what's nice, this is the tool holder, so that's why it's showing it right now, with our tool that we're machining with, with our milling tool, with our uh, facing tool. Okay, now that we have that done, click on play to finish this, click on X, make sure that it is saved again, and then click on exit. And this concludes our session for the face milling operation for exercise number two.